Hello everybody this Friday the 13th of June 2014 and USA Today is reporting that a son of David Rockefeller has died this morning after his plane crashed in Purchase, New York. A son of the oldest living member of the Rockefeller family died Friday after the small plane he was piloting crashed into a neighborhood near Westchester County Airport. Richard Rockefeller, 64 years of age, of Falmouth, Maine, ate dinner the night before with his father, David Rockefeller, to celebrate his father's 99th birthday, who, um, the family's estate is in Pocatico Hills, New York, along the Hudson River. Um, the family spokesperson is saying what a terrible tragedy it is and that the family is in shock. Richard was a wonderful and cherished member of the family and he was an experienced pilot. He was a medical doctor and it's horribly sad. The plane, a Piper Meridian single-engine turboprop registered to Richard Rockefeller, left the White Plains New York Airport about 8 a.m. Eastern time and was reported down within 10 minutes in a residential area less than three miles away in purchase about 30 miles north of New York City said Peter Scherer airport operations administrator the weather at the time of takeoff was foggy and rainy ooh look at that the plane was scheduled to fly to Portland Maine and the flight was expected to last an hour and 14 minutes. Richard Rockefeller had flown to this area Thursday according to Flight Aware Flight Tracking Service, leaving Portland International Jetport at 2.22 p.m. at 2.22 p.m. and arriving at Westchester County Airport at 3.41 p.m. Richard Rockefeller flew out of the airport regularly, Scherer said. No other injuries were reported and no one else was on the plane. Weather could have contributed to the crash. Friday morning's low cloud ceiling would have made recovery from a problem difficult, said Rocco Cip Cipriano, a board member of the Westchester Aviation Association. Procedures at Westchester County Airport require aircraft taking off from runway 16 to climb to 1,800 feet and turn right. Judging from the record, the plane appeared to have followed those procedures, said Scherer, who indicated that Richard Rockefeller had not issued a mayday or radioed with any kind of problem, uh, and the weather conditions were less than ideal. If that engine quit and you're a thousand feet in the air and you look out, you know what you're seeing? Nothing. You're seeing nothing but white, he said. Wreckage from the plane was spread over several hundred feet and jet fuel was splattered over much of the crash site. Um, and it was lucky there was no fire. He said there are some very large pine trees that could have ignited very easily. A Piper Meridian is about 30 feet long and about 11 feet high with a 43 foot wingspan and carries 170 gallons of fuel. It costs at least 2.2 million and seats six, including the pilot. 